Ok, I open it Autodesk Fusion. What's next? Now look at the toolbar at the top of the screen and find Create Sketch button. Go ahead and click on it. You can choose one of the default planes like XY, XZ or YZ. Or if you already have a 3D model, you can select any flat face on it. Now we will learn 3 tools and easily create your first model that you can sell if you want. The first one is actually a small group of tools, line, rectangle, circle and shapes like that. You have known them since kindergarten, so choose circle and draw one with diameter of 40 mm for your first sketch. The next tool is offset. The offset tool is powerful and easy to use. It allows you to create a parallel coffee. I just want coffee, actually parallel copy of an exciting sketch, line or shape. If you want to create the first offset, click on the circle you draw to select it. Drag outward to create an offset. A dimension box will appear where you can type the exact offset distance. Enter 0.4 mm and press enter. Now make same operation with 0.8 mm, 1 mm and 3 mm. Once all your offset are created, click on finish sketch in the toolbar. When sketch is ready, it's time to learn third and one of the most fundamental and powerful feature, extrude. It allows you to take a 2D sketch and extend it into the third dimension, effectively turning your flat shapes into solid objects. Click on the create menu and select extrude or press E on your keyboard. Select the area between the original circle and the 0.4 mm offset circle. In the dialog box enter 10.5 mm for the extrusion distance. Click OK to complete the extrusion. Select the area between 0.4 mm offset and 0.8 mm offset circle. In the dialog box enter 10 mm for the extrusion distance. Click OK to complete extrusion. Select the area between the 0.8 and 1 mm offset in the dialog box and the 5 mm for the extrusion and between 1 and 3 mm offset in dialog box and the 3 mm for extrusion distance. Click OK to complete the extrusion. Congratulations, this is your first cookie cutter. Wait, give me a second. Boom! I've printed your cookie cutter especially for you. It looks awesome. And now we continue our chilling tutorial. With these tools you can also create some stamps and print it, but I'm sure you also need a holder for stamp. Let's model it right now. In the sketch environment, select the spline tool from the sketch toolbar. Click to place point that define the shape of your holder's profile. Start from the bottom of the holder and work your way up to create a smooth, curved profile. Adjust the spline point and handles to achieve the desired shapes. Use the line tool to close the profile by connecting the end point of the spline to the central axis, usually the Y axis. Ensure that the profile is a closed shape also draw a little line for center, click on finish sketch to exit the sketch environment. In the create menu, select the revolve tool, click on the profile you just created to select it as the profile to revolve. Select the central axis, Y axis as the axis of revolution. Set the revolve angle to 360 degrees to create a full solid holder. For 10, it looks great, but I want to make more interesting designs. Cool! And actually, this is where importing the XF file comes into play. First, let me answer to two questions. What is the XF and how we use it in Fusion? The XF is a cut data file format developed by Autodesk. In Fusion 360, the XF files are often used for inputting 2D sketches. Let's import the XF file. By default, click Create Sketch in Toolbar. Select the plane or face when you want to place your DXF file. With the Sketch Environment open, go to Insert menu in the toolbar. Select 
insert DXF. A dialog box will appear. Click on the Open from My Computer button to browse your local files. Locate and select the DXF file you want to add to your sketch. After selecting the DXF file, you will see a preview of it in your sketch. Use the position control to place the DXF file in the desired location. You can move it, rotate it and scale it as need. Click OK to confirm the placement. Now we can make cutters and stamps without any problem. Maybe you want to sell it or print it, so it's time to understand how to export a file from Fusion 360. Before exporting, it will be fantastic to rename your bodies to understand where each one is. Look at the left side of the screen to find the browser panel. This panel displays a tree structure of the components, bodies, sketches and other elements in your designs. In the browser panel, find the bodies folder. Click the small arrow next to it and expand the folder and see all the bodies in your designs. Right click on the body you want to rename, a context menu will appear. Select rename from the context menu, the current name of the body will be highlighted, allowing you to edit it. Type in the new name for the body and press enter to confirm the change. Also you can click on body and after a tiny break, click one more time, then rename and press enter to save. How to save fusion file? Actually, there are two different saving in Fusion. First, you can save it in app, but if you use free version, there are only 10 savings available. So I can show you how to export file on your PC or laptop to make a local copy. To save a local copy of your design on your PC or laptop, click on the file menu, select export, in the export dialog box, you can choose the final format you want to export. F3D, STEP, STL, etc. Fusion file is F3D. Click local export to save the file to your computer. Choose the location on your PC or laptop where you want to save the file and click save. And now, how to export body as STL file for printing. In the browser panel on the left, find and expand the bodies folder. Right click on the body you want to export as STL file. From the context menu that appears, select Save as STL. A Save as dialog box will appear, prompting you to choose a location on your computer when you want to save the STL file. Enter a file name for your STL file and click Save. Navigate to the location where you saved the STL file to ensure it has exporting correctly. In this tutorial, we've covered the essential steps to create and manage your design in Fusion 360. You've learned how to create sketches using basic tool, apply offset and use the powered extrude feature to bring your 2D sketch into the third dimension. We also explored how to import the XF file to enhance your design and how to rename bodies for better organization. Finally, we demonstrated how to export your bodies as STL file making them ready for 3D printing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share your progress and designs in the comments below. We would love to see what you create. Ready to take your 3D modeling to the next level? Open Fusion 360 and start creating today.